All right. So equations, we do something totally different, but similar, like it's similar enough to cause confusion than what we did to expressions. So you need to know, like so expressions, we time top and bottom by the thing missing from the LCD, right? That's what we did with expressions. In equations, we're going to find the LCD and we're going to times every top only by the entire LCD. Okay? Got that? Making a note somewhere? All right. So now we're going to be solving. So now we're going to get to like x is equal to 4, x is equal to a negative 1 half. So now we're actually going to solve. Um, so our goal is to eliminate the denominator of the rational expression. And the steps are very, very similar. So step one, we're going to factor everything. Step two, we're going to do our NPV. Step three, we're going to identify the LCD. And we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. Every term tops, so really mathematically what I mean, is numerators only. Okay? So that goes with that right here. So every term in the equation and then tops only, numerators only. So in expressions, we did top and bottom with the only thing that was missing out of the LCD, now we want to get rid of the denominator. In expressions, we wanted to get a common denominator. Now we want to get rid of it. We're going to solve for the variable. So either by factoring or basic algebra. Basic algebra is like 2x plus 7 equals 10. You guys can solve that, right? That's like two-step algebra. And then you're going to check your solutions. And you're checking them against your NPVs. All right, good. So here we go, we're gonna get started. All right, example number one. Step one, factor everything, right? That's always our first step. Is there anything I can factor in this one? No, there's nothing to factor. Okay, that's nice. What's the denominator on the three? One, okay. I don't know if that helps you just to put that in there, but we're going to put that in there. Um, now we do our non-permissible values. And remember, we only do non-permissible values on the variable. So my NPV is over here. X cannot equal. Well, there's no X in the first one, so nothing here. What can X not equal here? Zero, because it's just a single variable. And there's no x in the last one, so there's nothing I have to do there. So I've got one NPV. We all good? Nice. Awesome. Okay, so LCD. LCD. What's my LCD? What's the common denominator for this one? 4x, right? I mean, it'd be 4 times x times 1, but we don't really need that 1 in there. So my LCD is going to be... 4x. So you see how expressions, like they start kind of off the same, but then we do something totally different. So now is the different thing. Now is the different thing. So we are going to take every term. So we have three terms here. One, two, three. We're going to take every term and we are going to times the numerators by the LCD. Numerators by the LCD. So tops only. So I'm going to have 4x. 4x. I feel like that sounds like Miss Bellier's son. Okay, sorry. That was a detour. I'm just listening. Okay, so now what do I have happening here? What is my numerator going to be? 4x squared. I'm going to tell you that I don't really need to multiply it in. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to cancel out some stuff before I multiply it in. 
what am I going to cancel out top and bottom? The four, right? Because our whole goal is to eliminate those denominators. Now this one, what am I going to cancel out? The X. Now, is one going to cancel out anything? No, so it's just going to stay like that. So now I'm going to multiply. So now I'm left with x squared over nothing because I've canceled out my denominator minus 21 equals 12x. Oh, geez Louise. Thanks, guys. I'm just distracted by what I think. I'm going to have to go next door to see who's teaching next door. Um, okay, what do I do with this? It's got an x squared in it. So am I going to do simple algebra or am I going to do factoring? Factoring. Because the x squared tells me I have to do factoring. So I'm going to bring everything, I'm going to bring everything to the left-hand side. Um, so I've got x squared minus 12x minus 28 equals zero. All right. Okay. All right. Now I got to factor it. So what are the factors of negative 28 that will add up to a negative 12? 14 and 2. And which one's the negative? The 14. So I'm going to have x minus 14, and I'm going to have x minus plus 2 equals 0. And so if I solve these, So x equals 14 and x equals negative 2. All right, so I got to check them against. What am I checking them against? My MPVs. What's my MPVs? Zero. So does it affect anything? Nope. So both these answers are good. Um, all right. Okay, this is good. That wasn't hard, eh? But it's going to be the confusion on the test on what to do when. That's going to be the most difficult of this one. All right, here we go. What's step one? Factor everything. So, <laughs> that sounded like a big groan. All right, so we're going to factor 18. We're going to factor 18. No, we're not factoring 18. We are factoring 18. This 18 right here. What are the factors of 18, positive 18, that add up to a negative 9? Negative 6, negative 3. I like it. So y minus 6 and y minus 3. Okay. It might help you to put brackets around these just so that you remember what those are. Um, okay, uh, so everything's factored, step, I don't know what we're on, 2, NPVs, so Y cannot equal, this one's going to be positive 3, this one's going to be positive 6, this one's going to be positive 6, and this one's going to be positive 3. So do I need to write these ones again? No, you only need to write them once, like once your list is complete. Okay, so that looks good. Step three, I have to find my LCD. So what's my LCD? Yep, y minus six times y minus three. Okay, so once I have that, I'm going to times each numerator by the entire LCD. So y minus six y minus 3, y minus 6, y minus 3, y minus 6, y minus 3. All right, so here's the thing. This is why I didn't want you to multiply it through, because it's so much easier just to cancel out the factors right now. So y minus 3 gets canceled off the top and the bottom. y minus 6 gets canceled off the top and the bottom. 
y minus 6 gets canceled off both, and y minus 3 gets canceled off both. So what I'm left with is 9 times y minus 6, and the denominator's gone now because we canceled it out, and then we have minus 4 times y minus 3 equals 18. Okay, um, so now what do I do? I do the leapfrog, I multiply through, so I have 9y minus 54. Thanks, guys, my multiplying sucks today. So I'm going to treat this like a negative 4, and I'm going to leapfrog it in, so now I got minus 4y. Oh, I wrote a 4 and then kind of a y. And then minus 4 times negative 3 is going to give me a positive 12 equals 18. So what I would do, this is just strategies that make things a little bit easier as you go. So if you, if you combine like terms when you can before you move anything, I find it a little bit easier so you don't lose anything. So 9y minus 4y, 5y, and then I have a negative 54 and a positive 12. So that's going to be a negative 42 equals 18. So this one doesn't have a squared, so am I factoring or am I basic algebra? We're doing basic algebra on this one. All right, so I'm going to add 42 to both sides. So I have 5y equals 60. Divide by 5, divide by 5, so y is equal to 12. Is that a good answer? Yes, because I'm checking it against my MPVs. Not terrible, not terrible. Like I said, the, the confusion is going to come from when to do what. All right, example number three. Do you guys want an opportunity to try it on your own? Andrea's like, no thanks. No thanks. So what's step one? Factor. And really the only thing I'm factoring is this. I like to put brackets around my denominators just so that I remember that they're a set. Factors of negative 6 that add up to a negative 1. Negative 3, positive 2. Okay, what's the next step? NPVs. And X cannot equal a negative 2 or a positive 3. Positive 3, negative 2. Okay, so I only have to write them once. That's good. I'm going to identify my LCD. It's nice. It's x minus 3, x plus 2. And my next step after that. Tops only, right? Multiply by tops only. So all the entire LCD, oh, that should be minus 3. X plus 2. And now we're going to cancel stuff out. Our whole goal is to get rid of the denominator. So if by multiplying you didn't get rid of the denominator, then that's not going to work. So that's gone, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. Those are gone, and that's gone. So I'm left with 3x times x minus 3 minus 5 times x plus 2 equals a negative 25. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leapfrog. So I get 3x squared minus 9x, and I'm going to treat this as a negative 5, so I'm going to leapfrog that in, so I'm going to have minus 5x minus 10 
equals negative 25. I got an x squared, so I know I'm going to have to factor. So I'm going to have 3x squared. Combine those, so that's going to give me a negative 14x. And then bring this to the other side so it changes to positive, so I'm going to have a plus 15. I skipped a few steps there showing you what to do, but it'll all work out. First thing I want to do is this is complex factoring. So the first thing I want to check, can I pull 3 out? Can I common factor a 3 before I do any complex factoring? So 3 comes out of 3 and 15, but it doesn't come out of the 14, so there's nothing I can do there. So i got to do complex factoring. I might hop to a separate piece of paper to do that, just because I didn't leave a ton of room on the sheet. And I like to do scrap work over here. Um, so I have 3x squared minus 14x plus 15 equals 0. Step 1 of complex factoring, 3 by 15, so that is a positive 45. So what are the factors of positive 45 that give me a negative 14? Negative 9, negative 5. Beautiful. Great factors. Okay, please note that I still have my equal zero, right? Because our goal is to solve. Um, so I'm going to look at these two. What can I take out of there? 3x. So I'm left with x minus 3. And what can I take out of here? I'm going to take out a negative 5, so I'm left with x minus 3. If you stumbled with this and you only took out a positive 5, uh, what would happen is this would be a negative x and this would be a positive 3, and you know you've done something wrong because this one and this one are not the same. So my factors are x minus 3 and 3x minus 5. Okay, so I'm going to pop that onto the page, x minus 3. 3x minus 5 equals 0. So I have x minus 3 equals 0, and I have 3x minus 5 equals 0. So this one's going to be x equals a positive 3, and this one's going to be x equals positive 5 over 3. Okay, what's the last thing that we have to do? Check with the MPVs. And what do you see right now? That 3, right? So it says, non-permissible value, x can never be 3. So we're going to go down here, and we're going to reject it. 5, five thirds is good, but the 3 gets rejected based on the MPV. Okay, all right. Everybody's feeling good about this. Maybe, possibly, sort of. That's it? That's all? That was my... I'm done. I love it. I love it when I'm done. I was going to do another example, but I guess we're done. <laughs>